I think, I don't think it's a pat on the back for us, but I think when you think about how threat actors typically attack companies now, they don't break in, they log in, right? And we've done a much better job because of awareness over the last five, six, seven years in terms of getting MFA in front of things of all different types. Like some MFA is better than no MFA, you know, argue amongst yourselves. But because we've done a decent job with that, it's kind of forced people into the shadows. And by people, I mean the people that want to do bad things, right? If you can't easily log into an account, well, then, you know, move on to the next easiest thing. And it's ripe for the picking when we think about non-human identities, right? They're, they don't have MFA against them, as, as, as Jim mentioned earlier. So my point here is, if it's not easy for threat actors to, to, to get through human accounts, it's going to be really easy to, for them to do these things because there's no MFA. So they don't have that hurdle. And oftentimes these have the privilege that they need to either create other identities or tokens or things like that in your environment. And we're seeing more breaches happen that way. Um, but I think the fact that NHIs are typically ripe for the picking because of the way that they're configured and managed and, you know, there is no real life cycle against them. It's easy for them to find one of those to exploit. And then again, the privilege helps them just to, to, to move laterally and do more things that they need to do in environments. Um, so yeah, that, that, that would be, you know, kind of why I think it's, it's a hot topic right now and, and, you know, why it needs to be addressed.